Hey guys, it's Haley and welcome back to another bookish video. <laughs> so today I am all comfy and cozy. I just did not feel like getting ready today because I'm just going to be sitting here hauling all of the books that I got for my birthday, which makes me so happy. I have so many new books to read. Some of them aren't even here yet, so I have like more on the way to look forward to. I'm so happy. <laughs> so yeah, June 1st was my birthday and I ended up going home the weekend following that to see my family in Houston and got some books there, got some books for my boyfriend, bought some books for myself with my birthday money. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first book is Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. This is kind of a sci-fi thriller and I heard a lot of great things about this book last year but I was a little bit hesitant to pick it up because I'm not always the biggest fan of a sci-fi twist in a thriller so basically I think there's like uh, children in a small town and they get involved in some sort of experiment and something happens that is tragic and they have to investigate it and I'm kind of into it and I'm super excited to read that and tell you guys my thoughts on her. Next up, I got The Last Mrs. Parrish by Liv Constantine. This is a domestic thriller that was actually recommended by Gwen here on booktube and this is basically a rich manipulative woman who maybe kills people and I love that for her <laughs> and I love that for me um if you know anything about the type of books I like I love a domestic thriller so I'm really excited to get to that one next up I got the two lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver this is on my romance-a-thon TBR and I'm so excited to go ahead and start that challenge at the end of June I'm really excited for this one so basically Lydia is with this dude and she loves him and then their life is amazing <laughs> and then he dies but he comes back after she already started over her life with a new man so it's like who does she choose which life does she want this is very reminiscent to me of maybe in another life by taylor jenkins reed and i really loved that one so hopefully i will love this one just as much hey Boba. hey queen <laughs> next up i got the passengers what lies between us and the one by john mars my mom actually got me those three thrillers and the one is still on her journey to get to me but i am so excited to start reading all of these especially what lies between us gabby reads did a reading vlog of her reading this book and she seemed just enthralled apparently there's like a million and one twists so really excited to get to this one and to just introduce myself to John Mars's writing and his style because he's like a new burgeoning thriller author so I feel like I need to know what his deal is and this one and the one sound really interesting to me because they're not domestic like what lies between us this one is about like the people who program self-driving cars and like could they possibly be programmed to not to for nefarious activities so that's interesting to me and then the one is like black mirrorish where everyone has their own like perfect match they're one in the world and maybe like people will kill each other over that i don't really know but <laughs> i know it's a thriller and i know it has amazing reviews especially from gabby and i really just trust her opinion so super excited to get to that Next up, this is another one from my mom, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. I absolutely adore Little Fires Everywhere, the show and the book. So I'm hoping that her other novel is just as hard hitting and gives me all of the gray morality and kind of dilemmas that Little Fires Everywhere gives you. It's about a family and the tragedy that will either be their undoing or their salvation. So I love family dramas and I'm super excited to give you guys my thoughts on this one. Next up, I have The Islanders by Meg Mitchell Moore. This is kind of like a fun 
beachy little read about drama and three strangers that meet on an island and their secrets. And I just cannot wait to read this one by the pool. I think it'll be the perfect poolside read and give me all the vibes of being at the beach because if it wasn't for COVID, I would be in Costa Rica right now reading on the actual beach. But for now, the pool will have to do, and this will just give me some beachy vibes. Oh, there's actually another book that is on her way to me. My mom just ordered it on Amazon for me for my birthday, and it is called The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson. I really want to get into Peter Swanson books. I've heard a lot about this one in particular, that it is his best novel so far, so excited for it. I literally say I'm excited for every book, but like I am. Like it's not a lie. I'm not just saying that. Like I am. I'm so excited for every book. What's wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think The Kind Worth Killing is about two people who like meet on like a train or something and they're like, tea. <laughs> They're like basically like tea, like some people like deserve to die and then like maybe they kill them. I don't know. I really don't like to go into my thrillers knowing a lot about the, a lot? Knowing a lot about the plot because I think it kind of spoils it for me. I like to go in kind of blind. So if I'm giving really vague descriptions about thrillers, I'm sorry, but that's how I like to go into it. I actually got another thriller called I'll Never Tell by Abigail Haas. I haven't heard a lot about this one. So this woman is going to trial for her friend's murder, her sister's murder, some woman's murder. I think it's her friend. And she's like haunted by I don't know if it's the girl. I know that there's a paranormal aspect. I don't know if it's the dead girl or if it's just her guilt because she did something or she didn't do anything and she didn't murder the girl, but she's being haunted by the idea of it. I don't know. Something's haunting her and there's a dead girl and I think this one's gonna be a winner. I don't know if it'll be like a five star for me, but it'll be super fun and fast paced. So this will be good if I'm feeling slumpy at all during the next couple months. And the final book and my favorite, although I am partial to it because it's the only one I've read, I read it pretty much immediately <laughs> after my boyfriend gave me my gifts. I started reading this one and it is Bunny by Mona Awad. I love her. I gave her 4.5 stars as my final rating. It's really heady and speculative and you don't really know like what's real the whole time you are questioning everything but i really like that aspect and i loved the ending i could talk for hours about this book and i'm sure you'll hear about it a lot in my june wrap up but that is the last book that I got for my birthday. I'm sure I'll be collecting more in the coming months, even though I probably don't need to, let's be honest, but it'll happen. So I'm sure I'll be coming at you with another book haul if I decide to spend and not save some of my birthday money. I'm hoping for a save, but like, let's be honest, half price is open now, so you might see another haul from me soon. <laughs> But that is going to be it for me today, guys. I'm going to link everything that I talked about down below in the description along with my socials. Go ahead and follow my Instagram. Check out my blog if you live in Austin, Texas and you're interested about things and goings on in Austin, Texas. And yeah, uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Like this video if you liked it. And have a great day. See you guys next time.